the way that you are conditioned to live. You are conditioned to believe that life is just waiting for the weekend so that you can go this place, experience this temporary experience, um, stimulate your mind in this way. You can have this, entertain your senses, right? Like have that delicious meal, that is life. You know, drink yourself stupid, that is life. Or socialize with a lot of people, that is life. But you see like, the average person lives in a state of unpleasantness for the most part. They live in a state of stress, fear, anxiety, and pain. And because this is their, this is their normal state, they seek to pacify this discomfort with this constant stimulation, which is actually very often destructive to their body, their mind, and their overall life. So I'm not like shunning everything, okay? I'm not shunning light, like daily living and everything, but there are a lot of things that we're so attached to that are actually just overall destructive and they actually get in your way. Me mainly leaving many of these things wasn't even for necessarily a spiritual reason, but ultimately I found the spiritual benefit of it. Initially, I just wanted to create a business and I wanted to come into control of my life. And I realized that things like, you know, you don't understand the, like the average person, the normal person will never understand the mental clarity that you can receive by letting go of drinking alcohol, because it's not something that can be calculated. The average person will never understand the calmness of mind that could be achieved by simply letting go of eating meat because it cannot be weighed, you see? The average person can never understand the happiness and fulfillment that you feel on a moment-by-moment -moment basis because of which you no longer desire to go somewhere to stimulate your mind temporarily and then just return back to your discomfort, you see? When you feel fulfilled, when you feel happy, when you are in charge of your own energy rather than having it scattered into these million thoughts and then these million activities, you know, when your energy is just going everywhere other than where it's actually meant to be, then in that state, you just live creatively. This is the start of a creative life where you're no longer living for all these other things and living for your conditioning. But instead, now you're actually creating. You're, you're awakening to things that you enjoy. You're awakening to your passions. You're awakening to what you actually want to create versus what the world wants you to believe you want to create. So there's clarity of purpose. There's vision. There's fulfillment. There's happiness. There's peace. There's confidence. There's love. And all of these things aren't just swaying with circumstances. They are more, you know, lasting. They are, the, they are habitual. Just as discomfort is habitual for the average person, this becomes habitual for anybody who takes back their energy. So you see, letting go of short-term pleasures results in you waking up to something that is much greater than short-term pleasures. Conditioning will tell you, the world will tell you that life is just the short-term pleasures. You know, get get married by this age, just get a college degree, have children, go on vacation, um, go through some hardships and then overcome them, um, rejoice, go, go out every weekend. Like They think that that is what a well-lived life is. But actually, look at the well-lived life. is full of suffering and false identity and belief. Taking your energy back is what spirituality is about. Recognizing what you are transcendent of this pain-pleasure cycle of suffering is what spirituality is all about. Living a well-organized, useful life is what spirituality is all about. So... One thing is that you'll never have the motivation to let go of the short-term pleasures until you, until you, this comes in front of your eyes. That's why I, I even felt the need to make this video because I know there's at least one person that watches the channel. Maybe you're even younger. Maybe you're younger than even me. And right now you're dwelling in a lot of those pleasures. 
and there's just no motivation to look for something greater because maybe you don't even know something greater. Well, I'm here to tell you that even though what is greater may not always be seen, may not be shown on the news, you know, you got to look at the way these people live. You got to look at the way that a monk walks and talks and lives and see how, you know, he has conviction. He has confidence. He has peace. He's not afraid. Even look at like a maybe a successful person that you look up to in any industry. Same with them. You know, may not be to a certain degree, but as a monk, but like look at them as well. Start to see that these people are doing something different. And any person who has achieved any amount of success in physical endeavors or dove deep into the spiritual aspect of life, you will see that this is a main thing that is like, it is, it allows you to live a life that supports success, that supports spiritual endeavor. Giving up short-term pleasures and being in it for the fulfillment and for the greater qualities that I just described. Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you today because I found it interesting. I thought it would be valuable to you and I hope it was. Thank you for watching this video. Now, here are a couple of ways that I can be of direct help to you right now, okay? And I'm going to link everything that I mentioned right now in the description box below. So number one is you can join our free personal mastery quest community, uh, our Facebook group on which you can interact with me personally and ask me all your questions. I love the community over there and I do my best to reply to you as soon as possible, okay? Number two, if you have not yet watched my free Ego to Presence Masterclass in which I teach you how to implement the teaching of self-inquiry into your life step by step and deepen your meditation and deepen your self-inquiry profoundly, then again, check the link in the description box below and go watch that masterclass. It is one hour. It will bring you tremendous value, okay? And now lastly, if you want to work with me and my team personally and you want me to help you dissolve mind identification and realize your true being, then you can check out my coaching program, uh, The Higher Consciousness Shift. All the details of it are down below in the description box. Just click the link that is under section coaching, okay? And it'll take you there um, to, the, to my personal website where you can go through all the details and book a free call with me and we can decide if we're the right fit to work together. That's all for today. I will see you in the next video.